Right, let's go over number 1512, number of good pairs. Given an array of integer numbers, a pair is called good if nums at index i is equal to nums at index j and i is less than j. So we have two conditions that has to be met. So first one is nums at index i is equal to nums at index j and second one is i has to be less than j. So if these two conditions are met, we can say that it's a good pair. And we want to return the number of good pairs. Okay, let's look at um, example one. We have array one, two, three, and one, one, three. And we have i and j, right? So we know that we're going to loop through this pretty much uh, twice. And let's say that um, i is equal to zero and j is going to be i plus one. And the reason why I'm doing plus one is because you want the j value that's always greater than i. So j is going to be one. All right. So our first loop, um, our auto loop, which is the uh, i, is going to be at one, right? That means that our j, j value is going to be at two. So is one equal to two? No, right? So we go to our next value for three when i, I mean, when j is equal to two. So um, it's gonna be i is equal to zero and j is gonna be equal to two. And we're comparing one and three this time. Are they equal to each other? No. Um, so we move on. i is equal to zero, j is equal to three. Are they equal to each other? Yes. So we increase our count variable or our output by one. I'm just gonna make a check mark here. Um, is 1 equal to this value? Yes. Is 1 equal to 3? No. And what we do now is we set i is equal to 1 now because we are done with our first outer loop. And then we do j is equal to i plus 1, which is 2 now. So is 2 going to be equal to any of the values in the array? No. So we can just get out of the loop. i is equal to 2 now. And we're at 3. Is 3 going to be equal to any of the numbers in the array? 1, 1, 3. Yes, it's going to be equal to this number here. So we increase the count by 1. And then we go to i is equal to 3. I When i is equal to 3, we're at this number, right? And if you look numbers that are past uh, this number over here, we have 1 and 3. Is 1 going to be equal to any of the numbers? Yes, it's going to be equal to this number. So we increase our count one more time. And we say i is equal to 4. Is 1 going to be equal to any of the numbers? Um, there's only one number only one number left three so no right and now we have four good pairs and if we check our results we have four good pa pairs and if you look at the explanation it says four good pairs right and it says zero three and these are indexes so zero three one and one zero and four that's one and one three and four so it's one and one again and two and five so it's three and three so these are our good pairs and we have four total. If you guys find this helpful, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thanks. All right, um, now let's code our solution. So first thing, declare our function which takes in a nums parameter, which is an array. And I'm going to make a variable that's going to count the number of good pairs, uh, initialize it to zero and return that result or count variable when we're done. And now we want to loop through our array. Um, so we're going to just use a for loop. Let i is equal to 0. Remember, we have i and j. We're looping through our uh, array twice or two different times. So we're going to need a nested loop. Uh, and i is going to be less than nums.length and increment by 1. And we're going to loop again. And this time it's going to be j. And remember, i is always less than j, right? So it's going to be i plus 1. So it, this ensures that i is always going to be less than j. And it's going to be j is less than nums.length. And we want to increase j by 1 each time. And now we want to check if nums at index i is equal to nums at index j. So let's use an if statement, nums at index i is equal to nums at index j. So if this is true, what we want to do is we want to increase count by 1. And we get our results. So 460, if you look at our example, 460, there we go. Okay, let's go over our code one more time. Um, so we declare our function, which takes in a nums array, and it's composed of integers. And what we did was we declared the count variable, and that's, this is going to count good pairs, number of good pairs. And when we're done with our nested for loop, we're going to return our count variable. So first thing we need to do, um, let's just work with 
example two. So we have one, 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 and one. And i is equal to zero. And y, when i is equal to zero, j is going to be one. So when i is one, I mean, when i is zero, we're, at, we're over here, and j is going to be over here. Are they equal to each other? Yes. So we increase by one. They're all pretty much, um, I and mean, we can see that they're all equal to each other, right? But let's go, let's just go through this. So it's got to compare this number one to this one. It's got to compare this one to this one. The first one to the last one. So we increase by uh, three. And when i is equal to one, j is going to be two, right? So i is over here. Is it, This is equal to this. This is equal to this. So in the second loop, we increase by two. And when i is equal to two, j is going to be three. So we're here, um, right? J, i is equal to two. Um, is this equal to this number? Yes. So we increase by 1, and we're at i is equal to 3, and j is equal to um, 4, right? We're at, we're at the last one, and we can't compare any numbers. There is no j at index 4. And we, if we sum these up, we have 3 here, we have 2 here, we have 1 here, and this becomes 6. And if we check our output, it's 6 over here. So we loop through our um, array twice using a nested loop. Here. And if we check the numbers, are they equal to each other? And if they are, we increase our count by one. And we go through this nested loop, and when we're done, we turn our count variable, which counts the number of good pairs.